What a drop on Bitcoin. In this video, I'm going to be talking you through the next game plan, the current trade that I am building right now. It's going to be a good one. I'm, I'm going to pre-warn you, this is a fairly complex video, so you will need to listen carefully. There are a lot of moving parts. I will try and simplify it as much as possible, but I am really looking forward to the outcome of this trade. It's going to be very decisive to see if I will continue on this 100% win rate for the 50th war. Order, right this is going to be so massive i am building a bitcoin long this is going to be the deciding factor will i finally take a losing trade on this conservative trading account or will i get this big win and share it with you all through this video so i'm looking forward to i really am it's going to be a good one i'm going to share with you now the game plan what i'm looking for and what is to come next on bitcoin so yeah, really simply from that last video, of course, it was very important for me, the $70,000 price target that we had. And I was explaining like any dip that comes before taking out $70,000 for me is a buy opportunity. I will buy any dip that comes because I had full confidence that we will take out $70,000. And well, as you know, $70,000 taking out, we did. Okay, with a really simple wick above $70,000 on the tether pair on Bybit, we hit a top of $70,130. So we were coming up, we were taking out 70K on Bybit, coming back down below. And, um, you know, I see also here 8.9 million new longs opened at exactly $70,000. Truly, people do like to hurt themselves. Longing at 70K, face palm, like what are people doing here? Like, <laughs> These are the type of trades that you want to be looking for, the shorts, right? You do not want to be looking for the longs at 70K. That is a big no-no. Any dip prior to it, fair enough. But long in at 70K, no, 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 no. Uh, these people really need to, uh, let's just say, get on the educational path. So, of course, since then, we had a big old drop to the downside, right? So 70K liquidity taken out, even losing then the low of this channel, getting that downtrend. And I had a big target then of $65,000 uh, based on what we were seeing at the time. It just seemed like, you know, more of a drop is more likely. Of course, we have now hit that because uh, that daily was actually at 65300 So we hit that last night. Uh, and now I want to talk you through, yeah, this long trade that I am building. So this is what I mean. It's going to be fairly complex um, because of the way that I'm building this long. So I've actually started to already build a long and I, I am compounding into this long trade. So I've started with small orders and begin building it up with bigger orders placed lower down towards the monthly level of support that we have down here. And I want to be explaining why. So I've already got a, about, you know, for, for me, I've only got about 35% of the long that I would like. But the reason why I've already started to build the long here is because I do recognize this zone is still support at the end of the day. Okay, so the more we drop, the bigger my long. Um, and the way that I'm viewing this, if I just hide temporarily everything else, is there's a bit of a range. So I do actually believe that we can come up to the top of the range once more. Why? Because at the end of the day, what we're currently looking at is a high, is a lower high, is a higher high, is a lower, sorry, is a higher low. So let me repeat, low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Here's another higher high built, right? So at the end of the day, what we can be looking for here is another higher low to continuation to the upside. So you might question then, why am I waiting or why do I have orders placed down to the monthly then? Okay, so this monthly is coming all the way down towards what? The range low. So if I'm viewing this as a range to trade, I've already started to build up my long trade. Why? Because we're at the middle of the range for the potential higher low. But I've only filled a small percentage of my overall want of this trade because Oh, naturally, the more we dip, the more that that long becomes nicer, I would say. So I've got orders placed down towards the monthly. So if we dip down towards the monthly, then, of course, I'll be looking for this type of trade. And validation for me would be losing the range low. So I'm, I'm happy to see some sort of failed auction swing failure pattern at that range low. But if we really start to lose it, again, what I will be using as a number one factor to analyze this is as always the order flow like right now we got a bit of 50 50 we got some bullish divergences but we're seeing a lot of longs open so yeah this is just very difficult this is what i would call more neutral you, not something that i want to trade myself here on the lower term time frames and you know what why do i think that this is more of a com complex trade because 
What I think a lot of people make a mistake of doing when a dip comes is they will go all in on the first dip, okay? And so then you get the first initial dip and then it dips more and then it dips more and then it dips more and they have no capital to average in an entry. Whereas if you have a good plan set out, you have the idea of compounding into a nice average entry. You're not trying to time the absolute bottom with an all in one trade, but you're going for this average entry price, right? I was starting it from 68k and I'm looking to build it all the way down to 62 of course my my orders are weighted more heavily towards the low my first orders are starting at five percent you know very small orders I'm now in around 35 percent so the more that we dip the more that I will buy I have an invalidation you know I'm not risking liquidation I'm not even using going to be using le any sort of high leverage on this trade so it's just getting into a nice average entry on the dip with expectations of taking out $70,000. I want to though talk you through a major level of resistance for myself where I will look to take profits. Okay. Because for me, this, I, I can't emphasize enough, is a massive, massive, massive level. So I do want to talk you through that. Before I talk you through that big resistance that you do want to pay attention to, I would like to just spend a few minutes talking about something that from my own experience, something that I genuinely want to talk about and feel I can share. Uh, and also just, you know, talk on life experiences at the same time. Because I feel that I've got, I feel my story is kind of crazy. There's a, I could, a lot of people say I should do a book on my life. And I do believe that at some point. Uh, and there's a lot of things, yeah, just crazy things that happen. But one thing that I think we, is very relatable to a lot of people is this when you start to get off the tracks a little bit. And it, it really made me think about it after seeing this message. So I wanted to, this is a message in the champions group saying, I just want to thank Daniel for all his wisdom. Previously left CC in 2021 with disillusion with how the community was going and my approach. Uh, he kept following over on Twitter and became a lot and, you know, saw my progress as a person becoming a lot less egotistical and more professional. And since then, he actually rejoined and found the support and the material second to none. And so he was just expressing his expressing his gratitude to Chart Champions. You can see here, I wrote a little bit about how, you know, I really have to analyze, just like I analyze the charts, analyze myself, understanding the importance of learning. We're all going to make mistakes, but we can all get better, right? And, you know, now soon to become a, a husband and father, I too have to hold myself to higher standards than what I was a few years ago. And I look back on this and I think, you know, I was partying all the time. I was, you know, really just trying to get with a load of different women. It was just, uh, you can imagine like a young, successful guy going out traveling, just you know, I, I was living in the moment type thing. And I look, I do look back on that a little bit like ashamed and thinking, you know, I really wasn't portray portraying myself in a light that I would respect. And so when I look back, I can, I can see these comments and think, wow, yeah, of course, people at this time were, were thinking, what is this guy doing? Like he, you know, he's living like a madman, all this, right? <laughs> and so I look back and I think of like how now I just have one loyal girl getting married, have several children together um you know this honestly is the way that i like to live my life now i'm happy to just be at home chilling doing my job running my businesses just having a lot of fun doing it and uh, i think that's something that i wanted to like bring to this discussion and just like talk on my experiences like we are all going to make mistakes whether it's through trading mistakes uh, even more right through life life mistakes but we all need to do one major thing whether it's on the charts or it's in real life we're all going to make mistakes we need to learn from those mistakes not repeat the same you know live our lives in a way that we would like our kids to look at us right so try and always be respectful loving okay setting yourself up to be a very good role model and i obviously have a little bit of more weight on my shoulders because I know people watch these videos do also view me as a role model. So when I look back on how I was a few years ago, it's kind of, it is a bit sad to be honest. Like I look, of course, in the time I was having a lot of fun, but when I look back on it now, I think, well, yeah, I really wasn't setting a very good example at all. Okay. That's not something I was proud of. So, um, you know, uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that really of how we can all grow as people, grow as traders, you know, bring ourselves up in a highly positive professional community. Uh, and, you know, let's just be the people that we want to inspire others to be like, right? We have to be the change that we want to see in the world, so to speak. Um, and yeah, that's just, I wanted to mention that because that is a topic that is close to my heart and how I 
yeah, I could talk about it way more, right? But I just, yeah, we're in a technical analysis video at the end of the day. But yeah, just like we're learning and making mistakes in trading, we are in real life. But the main thing is we learn from the mistakes, we grow, we get better, and we improve. And if we can do that, we can all change our lives around, learn, and be just simply be better every day. So with that said, let's bring it back to the charts um, and talk about what I was going to say about the bigger resistance. And I, I think a lot of you are going to be able to remember it already and it is going to be this 67500 zone so a few levels to be aware of i think it's fair enough let's just remind you first of all of the range point of control which i hope you haven't forgot but that sits at sixty-seven thousand dollars. okay so you can see sixty-seven thousand dollars, sixty-six nine hundred and ninety-two, sixty-seven thousand dollars is going to be first uh, important level within this range okay first important level within this range one thing that i would like to note here is like you know how we have the monthly down here right we have this monthly down here you can see how the value area low is sat just below the range and that is why i'm talking about the fake out potentially right off the low because we can come down here fake out through the range hit that value area low before we get the increase in price so that's just like one yeah for me that is a major level right and that is why i'm just aware of the more of the fake out scenario of the range low if we start to make our way down there right and that's why i'll be a little bit cautious with the stop loss not just put, putting it just below the low because then if we just get a wick straight through and reversal you know that's something i would actually look to compound into rather than getting stopped out on so you know, i just want to make you aware of that uh, but overall, yeah, the resistance, of course, 67,000 range point of control. But for me, the bigger level as it has been for a while is 67,500. So 67, let's say 450, because I would always front run my levels, by the way. So 67,450, for me, very, very, very key level. But I have a bigger one, uh, which I would love to get tested, and that's the daily. I think this is a would be a wonderful daily, because... What we can be looking at between this zone, right? Because that it really starts from 67. But if we're looking here, overall, I want to remind you. Like I need to remind you. Sometimes I mess up down. I, I am building a long trade. But that does not mean that I will not also look to take a short if we come up and hit this resistance for a rejection. Because I'm aware of something called an ABC um elliott wave correction where this could be our a we actually build our way up for the b and then we come down for the c and we overall just get an abc correction so rather than getting this bounce and then just seeing a drop I would actually look again it's very much based on the order flow i want to make that key because it is very important to me the order flow the readings that we got going on in here uh, you cannot actually see the total the data that i'm looking at let me hide myself you can see i'm looking at the H hls time trade counts this for me is important information when we pair it along with yes the delta the volume the rec candles this is this is how we make informed trading decisions right and so for me it will be very key to know the data that we have live in the time as that's hit okay to decide whether i will i will have two options here right because at this point if we are making our way up to 68 my average entry is already going to be in profit so i could look to take a bit of profit on that long or also take a short trade because then i could look to take that short bring it down while simultaneously also adding to my longs so it gives me a bit of a hedged position should we get the rejection off of around this zone for me it's going to be very very key what goes on there um so yeah for me there's a few takeaway factors for a bit of a summary okay i am building a long trade on bitcoin this is an averaged compound entry where i'm happy to bring it down to the monthly why am i compounding into this because i am aware of holding another higher low which means we will not hit this monthly before getting higher prices this is why the compounding strategy is a nice strategy i have got that weighted towards lower so of course i wouldn't make max profits if we bounce here but i will always say this profits are profits and this is going to be the trade that decides whether i finally get that losing trade this 100 percent win rate ends for the 50th trade i think this is just the a wonderful time and a just a wonderful coincidence how this is coming about um as i can show you off of the from the last video when i was talking you through like these types of quick trades that i'm taking on uh da, 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 da. let me try and find it let me try and find it well you saw on the pepe longs um uh trying to find it on this video let me try and find this really quickly i know i showed it in this video somewhere um oh well anyway you saw the pepe longs i was in the pepe long and the flocky long yeah which was
I wanted to try and find it. it. There we go. There it was. I saw it. Nice. It's up. Yeah, which higher prices to oh come. Oh my god, this and is so now just annoying. To this uh, anyway, point. you saw it at the start of this video because I had it on the exact second, but now I've lost the second. I'm not going to delay this video anymore. So uh, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. I <laughs> thank you. Um, you know what I was going to say is when you get into those nice trades, look at the time we're in thirty dollars a profit. You got to know when to get in, get out, take the profits. You know, if I hold on to these trades forever, then now would be losing trades. So just to take away final words, take the profits. Don't get in nice winning trades, seeing them end in losses because of your want of getting max profits, max profits, max profits. Get in, get out, move on to the next trade. That is how you build these accounts consistently and well with with let's be honest pretty good win rates so um yeah it's all about having the plan not getting greedy okay understanding when you're wrong when you need to close out and lose the trade like i will if we start to close and lose uh the range low but my game plan is build along here key levels for me 67 to the daily that's where i would look to build a short trade should we get the bearish reaction if not then hey higher prices that that's fine by me uh if you want to see more if you have not understood anything that i'm talking about in this video then you need to get over to chart champions everything that i talk about the strategies that i'm using the tools everything is of course explained and taught within our course so you got all the information that you need within here um you know this is my blood sweat and tears um my my virtual baby <laughs> of chart champions um you know very proud of what we got going on here so if you want to learn about it then of course you can over at chart champions if you want to see the updates uh first and foremost and that's always going to go to the champions too uh, so, for example, when we come down, uh, confirmation of compounding, confirmation on if I take a short, that's always going to go to the champions group first. So if you want that live trading updates as well, the education, all of it, one stop shop chart champions. Final words. Yeah. Remember, we can learn on the charts as we learn in real life. Let's just strive to be positive, happy community and bringing ourselves up. I myself have made a lot of mistakes in the past, but I can hold myself up high and proud to say I learned from those mistakes. I did improve and, you know, I just continue to be here every day for the greater good, for the purpose and calling that I have. Uh, and that is teaching you how to trade. So, uh, yeah, thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you ever so much. Hit the like. I'll read all the comments if you want to leave one. Uh, always enjoy doing that. So yeah, cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And it's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.